All right, so today we're gonna to be making lentil peas soup. You know, typically you'll see split peas based soup, pigeon peas based soup. So we're gonna be doing lentil peas based soup today. We're gonna to be starting off just like how you'll traditionally make stewed lentil peas, brown sugar, and allow this to caramelize. I'm not adding in any oil because we're gonna be putting in pigtail, which has a lot of fat. That is basically my, my fat component for this dish. Yeah, now of course, you don't have to add pigtail. You could do it without meat. You could add smoked bones, or maybe you wanna add something else. I don't know, the options are really, really endless. I'm just gonna start to stir it so the granules can melt and caramelize much more evenly. This, this will prevent any burning of the sugar, which results in bitterness. So we're gonna add in our dried lentils. And I'm actually not gonna turn it as yet because what's happening here, the lentils will bring the temperature of the sugar down and it may even crystallize the sugar once again. So I'm just gonna spread it around evenly, let it sit. I'm adding in my pigtail. These pigtails were washed but not boiled. Why? Because the added salt in the pigtail is basically what is gonna season my soup today, yeah? So we're just gonna cover this, let it sit, let the peas sweat, begin to open up its pores, and also bring the peas and pigtail, um, raise the temperature of them, melt any sugar that may have crystallized when adding the lentil peas, and uh, come back after them. All right, so we'll see in about five minutes. So we could already see the pigtail already turning color. You see our sugar has melted, started to brown our peas. Just gonna give it a quick turn. All right, just making a little hole in the middle. And we adding in our roku. All right, so next in goes our fine thyme one dried or fresh bay leaf if you have and then i'm adding in some pimento garlic hot pepper onion all all of these ingredients will just help to further enhance the flavors of the lentil soup bring everything to life make everything taste good all right so you want to give that a mix so the thing with fine time you don't really have to take it off of the stem because what will happen once the fine time begins to cook it will actually release the leaves will actually come off the stem so in a little bit you'll just see me take out the stems oh i mean some people like to leave the stems some people you know like they like to see the stems so that's fine too right so i'm just gonna let this I'm just gonna cover and let this sweat over medium to high heat for another three to five minutes before we cover with water. Right, so we're just gonna give it a little turn. So we see we're starting to get a little, a little sticking at the bottom. So that's my cue to add water. So you wanna add enough water to cover the peas. Right, and what we're gonna do now, we're gonna introduce thyme. I'm gonna just drop the heat to medium and allow the peas to cook. This will take anywhere from a half an hour to 45 minutes, depending on the peas. You know, sometimes you'll get a lot of green peas, which take a lot longer to cook. So we're just gonna cover it, not all the way, yeah, and leave it to cook over medium heat for about 30 to 45 minutes or until the peas have fully cooked. Let's check on our peas. So as you can see, our peas has burst. It's opened up, it's more or less fully cooked. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna actually remove the pigtail 
bay leaf and the fine thyme stems so that I could puree the peas. Now, of course, you don't have to puree the peas, but I just, whenever I'm making soup, if it's split peas base, pigeon peas base, and in this instance, lentil peas base, I prefer a smooth and consistent consistency throughout. But again, if you want, you could take the back of your spoon and mash some of the peas. But for me, it's just a lot simpler to just puree it. Taking out the bay leaf as well. If you get some peas out, that's okay. Because all of this will go back into the pot once I've pureed my peas. Well, except the fine time stems, of course. So as you can see, I was talking about earlier, the fine time stems leave the stem. So you see, no more leaves on the stem. Right, so. Now, even when you're pureeing it, you could decide if you just wanna puree half, you know, or still leaving some of the peas whole, just to, just to have that an added textural component is really up to you. But for me, I'm probably gonna puree this 80, 90% of the way. All right, so let's check the consistency now. So obviously our soup has thickened up. Still have some pieces of the peas, but it's a much smoother consistency now, a lot thicker. Right, and now our bay leaf and pigtail can go back into the pot. And now I'm adding in some more ingredients. We have some diced carrots, some pumpkin, and some lemongrass. This has been, this is about three leaves, three lemongrass leaves. I tied it into a knot just to make, li just to make life easier later on when you wanna remove it from the pot. This is gonna add tons of flavor. So you just go ahead and add this in. And then we're adding in our ground provision. So here we have cassava, sweet potato, dashing, and green fig. The options are endless. You can add what you like. But yeah, um, I'm not adding dumpling today, but of course, if you want to add dumpling, you could go ahead and do that. So I went ahead and, and cut these up into about one and a half to two inch size cubes. And we're going to add this to the pot and let it cook. It should take about 15 minutes or so. You want your provision to be fully submerged in your soup. And depending on how thick you like your soup, you could leave it, leave it just like this. For me, I'm just gonna add a little more water just to thin it out a bit. Mix it in. All right, so once everything is mixed well together, you'll want to cover partly, bring your heat back up to high, and as soon as your soup starts to bubble, reduce to, I would say, between low to medium, and let cook until your provision is fully cooked, which should take about 12 to 15 minutes. All right, so let's check our soup. Hmm, I wish I could smell that lemongrass, but wow. Yeah, all right, so our provisions are cooked. So to finish, just gonna add in some freshly cut celery and shallow benny. This will just help with the overall aroma of the soup and add tons of fresh flavor. All right, so we're gonna plate up or bowl up in this case and 